Hey, Luca, uh, on TV after the game, you said uh, we played like a team tonight. Can you elaborate what you mean by that? And, um, you know, do you feel like there's been too many nights when you guys have not played like a team this year? I mean, just play like a team, you know, everybody involved, everybody uh, doing the effort, uh, you know, on defense, on offense, just play like a team. Okay, Callie. Hey, Luca, uh, Coach Carlisle said before the game that you and Jalen have a really good trust between you two. How have you guys developed that over the past few years and what makes your on-court chemistry work so well? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, he's a really good, good player, you know. Uh, you can see it. Uh, he's uh, he's everywhere and we have a good chemistry, you know. We were both drafted on the same day. and But, you know, he's a great player and it's easy to have a chemistry like that. Uh, Dorothy? Luca, hi. Um, what has fueled your improvement as the season has progressed? What's been the fuel or the catalyst? Uh, what do you mean by that? What What has fueled? What has made you uh, improve as you have throughout the season? What's been the, the the catalyst? I would just say playing basketball. You know, that's what I like to do. Uh, especially when we win, you know, it's fun. And you know, just that, just playing basketball. Kevin? Hey, Luca, congrats on the win and a happy early birthday tomorrow. Um, tonight, obviously, the defensive assignment against James Harden. Talk about what you guys were able to do in the second half, holding him to just four points and holding the Nets to 34 points in the second half and the adjustment you guys made on him. I mean, he's a great player, you know. Uh, obviously, they had two great, two great players out, but he's an amazing player. It's very tough to stop him. Uh, we did a great job in the second half. I think it was way better. Uh, just, I think, more aggressive. You know, Dora did a, did a great, amazing job. And, you know, just be more aggressive. Okay, last one in English, Tim McMahon. Luca, uh, James Harden on, on their Zoom tonight said uh, that the Mavs have a special one talking about you. What does that kind of respect mean from guys who have been an MVP in this league, who you know, we're kind of the established superstars in this league. I mean, it's amazing, you know, it's something you even can describe, you know, uh, if somebody like that says something about you. It's just amazing. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, I watch him. He's an unbelievable player. And, you know, it's just uh, really special. Okay, we'll do two in Spanish. Leonardo. Luca, ¿qué tal? Buenas noches. Te saluda Leonardo Torres desde Perú. Luca, de estos altibajos, alternando victorias y derrotas, ¿qué crees que han aprendido como equipo y qué crees en lo personal que has aprendido de estas victorias y derrotas que han alternado este último tiempo? Bueno, esto es la NBA, ¿no? Tiene muchos partidos, casi cada dos días. Eh, así que vas a perder, vas a ganar. Hay muchos partidos y no siempre puedes ganar y no siempre vas a perder. Así que hay que emprender de seguir que en dos días pues, hay otro partido. And Oscar? Hola, Luca. Oscar Maya desde España. Aquí ya es 28, así que lo primero, felicidades. Eh, y lo segundo que te quería preguntar, eh, cuando allí ya sea tu cumpleaños, cuando soplen las velas, ¿qué, qué deseo vas a pedir para, para este nuevo año para ti? Bueno, eso no se puede decir, ¿no? Porque luego igual no se cumple. Eh, pero bueno, a ver, cuando, cuando se cumpla, eh, te lo diré. Ok, gracias a todos.